Welcome to another session of Solving Quadratic Equation 12.5 by completing the square. Quadratic Equation has many ways of solving. Another method is actually called completing the square. Remember that in the previous exercise we've, we did, x plus a squared, when you simplify it, when you expand the bracket, it gives you x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. Let's call this side, the left hand side we call LHS and the right hand side we call RHS. Okay, so if I took minus a squared away from both sides the expression on the left hand side becomes x plus a squared minus a squared equals x squared plus 2ax now this is the basic principle of completing the square is turning a quadratic equation that looks something like this ax squared plus 2ax into ax a plus x squared minus ax squared all right it may seem gibberish at the moment but once we do an example you will see what i mean but notice that what goes in the bracket here is half of the coefficient of x so we have 2a here but when it goes into the bracket we divide by 2 so divide by 2 by 2 gives us what we have in the bracket that is a very important notion to be able to do the pro problems involving quadratic expressions okay Let's use, do, quickly do this example. Rewrite x squared plus 4x minus 7 in the form x plus a squared minus b. Alright. First of, let's write the equation on this side. So we have x squared plus 4x minus 7. And we are asked to rewrite it in the form x plus a squared minus b. Right, you will notice that from the example we did earlier this bit here which is x squared plus 4x can be rewritten as a plus half of the coefficient of x as we did here so that gives us 2 then we put a square there and then minus a what's a in this case a is 4 so minus 2 a is 2 sorry a is 2 this is a here so 2 squared all right then this 7 comes back down so we have minus 7 all right so let's simplify these two expressions here so we have x plus 2 squared minus 2 squared is 4 minus 7 so that gives us x plus 2 squared minus 11 so we've answered the first part this looks exactly like what we've been asked to do which is x plus a squared minus b so this is so in this case x plus a squared is x plus 2 and our b is minus 11 okay so we're asked to solve it in other words we need to put the new expression that we have equals to 0 so let's do that here x plus 2 squared minus 11 equals 0 all right the first thing i would do here is to to solve is to add 11 to both sides so x plus 2 squared 
equals 11. Okay, so let's scroll down a little bit. All right, so we have, if I take the square root of both sides, we have x plus two equals, well, since it's a, it's a quadratic equation, we have two solutions, so it's plus or minus root 11. All right, moving over to this side here. So, we have x plus two equals plus or minus root 11. So the next thing I will do is, I will take two away from both sides. So I have x on its own equals, well, when this comes over to that side, it becomes two plus or minus root 11. So our solutions are two plus root 11 or two minus root 11. Those are our two solutions. You can now either leave that in third form or you can go ahead and do the square root of 11 and add it to two or do the square root of 11 and take it away from two. Thank you for watching this video. You can like us at Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash CMAS. Hope it has been a lot of help.